Hudson County Jail Deputy Director Kirk Eady had his federal trial begin this week and the jury selection process was completed early Tuesday morning. Eady stays trial for allegedly using a website to tape record phone conversations of other jail employees. According to the criminal complaint, Eady used a website, which Hudson County View has identified as prank dial, where paying customers can place phone calls where the original call can be hidden. Additionally, the website allowed customers to initiate and record a conversation between two people while the two callers are led to believe the other person on the line made the phone call. This type of call, which kept the website customer's information a secret, was labeled as the evil operator function. Edie allegedly made at least three payments to the website between July 2010 and March 2012, making a dozen phone calls using the evil operator feature between March 8, 2012 and July 6, 2012, the criminal complaint says. The calls were made to four different employees of the Hudson County Correction Center, who are also part of the Policemen's Benevolent Association. All four victims said they never gave Edie permission to monitor or record their telephone conversations. The complaint also says that Edie recorded the conversations to find out private information about the PBA at a website he did not like, which Hudson County View has learned is edpdlaw.com. Edie's scheme was busted when a cooperating witness made two phone calls under the supervision of law enforcement on or about April 2012 and September 2012 that he had a system to record a conversation, which he was not a part of, between two parties. Edie is represented by Jersey City Attorney Peter Willis, while the government is represented by Assistant U.S. Attorney Amy Loria. Additionally, U.S. District Court Judge Jose Linares is presiding over the case. I'm John Hytus with the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.